Luciferium is one of the strangest drugs in the RimWorld universe. According to the wiki, Luciferium is a rare, powerful, expensive, and dangerous drug that can be either purchased, dropped by raiders, or found at an ancient shrine. There is no way to produce it. Without mods, it's completely uncraftable. Its main use is to save one's life with a dramatic blood filtration improvement. It also has many healing properties, but it also affects most of the other capacities. Basically, Luciferium is kind of like making a pact with the devil. It improves blood filtration, metabolism, blood pumping, even sight, consciousness, breathing, moving, and reduces pain. And very gradually over time, it can even reverse injuries. In return for all this, if you don't take Luciferium, after several days, you'll eventually go crazy, have mental breaks, and then die. Once you take it, there's no going back. So for a new challenge, we're going to be playing as a rich explorer. We'll be playing with Randy Random and losing his fun difficulty. If you want to follow along, the world I'm going to be playing in is seated by Luciferium. It's very crowded and has high population. Clearly, it's overcrowded. I wanted a character who would be powerful, but not too overpowered. He's pretty overpowered, though. So first off, this is kind of a soldier-type character. I didn't want to give him too many points in shooting, but I wanted him to have enough to get started. So he's going to start off at level 8 shooting with a double passion. He needs some construction in case if he needs to start any defenses. And no melee skill, but he has a double passion. Actually, I think we're going to bump that up to, like, 4. It's pretty easy for him to get one shot, and I don't want that to happen because it would just be really dissatisfying. He'll have some crafting skill too, just in case if he needs that. And really, his main characteristic is that he's addicted to Luciferium. So he's going to start off with this Luciferium, and that's eventually going to turn into a need, and he'll need Luciferium over time. He has one Arcotech eye, so he has some sort of medical upgrade. He also has some really good traits. We gave him Deadshot, which just improves his shooting, aiming time reduction, and accuracy. He's a deftly dodger, so he can survive longer in melee combat. He's a jogger, so he's faster, but he also has a horse. Fast learner, just to improve his skill acquisition. He's a psychopath, so he never really gets affected by death. He also has blood loss, so it's gonna make him happier when he fights. Steady aim is gonna improve his accuracy even more. I mean, he's the only person we have to fight. He's a master medic, super immune, quick sleeper, and we've also given him unstoppable. He's, he's actually pretty... He's pretty goddamn overpowered. But we need him to be, because otherwise he would just die right off the bat. As for equipment, he's starting off with survival meals, glitter world medicine, some MRG-5 rifle. This thing is ridiculously powerful. It's from the glitter world mod, but also he just needs some gun that's gonna give him ridiculous damage. He's also gonna have a plasteel knife for a sidearm, and he's gonna start off with only four luciferium. He needs to keep finding more if he wants to survive. We'll also give him go juice just in case if he needs it in a fight, and he has a horse to ride. And I think we'll land right about here. 276, 338. Doesn't really matter, just as long as we're on a road. And we've got a lot of factions we could go between. So we're starting off here in this arid shrub land. And it looks like our go juice and our luciferium spawned in too. We'll just equip Max with this MRG rifle. It's normal quality, but it's still really good. And a plasteel knife as a sidearm. We'll put a lot of the glitter world medicine as an inventory. I think carry on like 10 of that should be way more than he ever needs and a few packaged survival meals too so he could just eat now looking around this first map it looks like we might have an ancient danger up here so this is worth exploring for more luciferium and also over here i think this is just another structure but it looks kind of nice we won't be here long so we'll just make the whole world a stockpile zone and we'll also start off with our fully trained horse she's got everything pretty much we need her to have this if she's gonna be any use to us at all because max is he's like a jogger he's got everything <laughs> he has every possible good trait so honestly she might be more of a liability than anything else. But what does he have? Right now he has a Synthred military uniform, he's got a nano suit on his body, and he's got a nano suit helmet. He could get a gear upgrade, but that's part of the reason we'll be raiding other factions, so. I guess we should just start raiding settlements right away. Like, we need to find more Luciferium, and we probably won't have any permanent base in this series either. Like, he's just gonna be going around like Dwarf Fortress adventure mode. And let's see, we found some silver in here. Not really worth it, we just kinda want supplies. Until we could get more pack animals that can haul things. We'll grab it though. And I I guess that the next thing we'll do is go over to this ancient danger and just deconstruct part of the wall. Let's just tell him to do that. And he's got... Okay, I guess I should explain this first too. I'm using a lot of other mods here. So you're seeing stuff from, what is this, alpha animals or... Yeah. So just really terrifying looking animals that uh, I'm going to have no idea what they do. So I'm just going to keep my distance from pretty much everything I find in here. We've got pikemen running around and all this place has is some glitter world medicine. That's okay, but I wish it were better. It's also got tech print for cataphract armor though. Now this 
is good armor. We've already got really good armor though. But you know what? We'll take it down because it's combat experience. Let's uninstall this. And I actually want to give him a clearer shot of what's inside. So let's just take this down and then back off, run away. And we'll turn on our range so we can actually see what he's shooting at. Just have Max run back. And I don't think, well, it's just the pikeman that's ranged. That's it though. This thing is, what is this? Fireworm. Well, he reached level nine in shooting. And because of my mod, he actually gets like a little light up when that happens. Well, whatever this fireworm was, it's, uh, it's dead now. I will just keep our distance from these pikemen. I don't really know what kind of distance they're working with, but I don't think it's as good as mine. Okay, what is that thing? It looks like it has a cannon on its back. Siege breaker. I do fear this. It's a tank-shaped mechanoid armed with a siege breaker cannon that fires explosive shells. Can detect a hostile presence from 100 meters. Okay, so this thing has literally a cannon on its back. Uh, it's gonna take a long time for its cannon to recharge, so I guess we just watch that cannon and shoot at it. I've already got it down to half health, and it looks like it's just taking forever to charge up. Doesn't look like that. Okay, there it is. Now it is loading up, and we killed it before time. And we get the pikemen too. All right, we'll just uninstall this steel wall so we can get our angle shot on this and run back. Get away from that pikeman. Stay in cover and try to run. Okay, and we got all of them. Now I want to keep my distance from everything else, so I'm just gonna shoot at these crypto sleep caskets, and we'll just shoot at this one. And it looks like there's a couple hostiles in there. Now our character is pretty terrible at short range because he has only a plasteel knife. He's also crap at melee combat, so no cow. Cowgirl, stay away. This is not your fight. Uh, what does Oswald have? He has marine armor good. How is this stuff? He has 340 hit points. Mine has 600. My armor is better. We could actually just let this guy go, Oswald. But he also has ballistic goggles. I don't think we can wear those, though, with our helmet. I kind of want his pants, so I think I'm going to shoot him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he also had Yayo. Okay, and don't forget I'm a bloodlust psychopath, so this doesn't really apply to me. And oh, fuck. There is a guy there. Okay, we have to run from Darcy. Uh, yeah, do not shoot me. Get into cover. Let's get behind a wall. And okay, we are not hitting him. We are not hitting him right now. Well, he's also bleeding to death, so let's just stay away from him out of his shot. Okay, he is dead. And he actually had flak pants. We can grab those. I do not have flak pants yet. Let's strip him. Though, we also want to take out these mega scarabs first. Let's just fire at them. And one... They're pretty weak. And let's get out the next, uh, fuck fire. No, cowgirl, don't come here. And turn away, and two. Wow, even with, what is he shooting? Okay, he still has a long way to grow. He's shooting level nine, so this is gonna be a grow area for him throughout the series. All right, there is a battle rifle in here. The Glitter World Medicine is gonna burn. And what do these guys have? This guy has normal 96% flak pants. Let's see if we could rescue this guy, because his flak pants are better than these ones. So we'll just strip him and walk right over. <laughs> just some guy, you wake up from crypto sleep and some guy just takes your pants, puts them on, and then runs away. Oh wait, never mind. No, we couldn't even do that with the nano suit. All right, uh, let's just pick up some other stuff and run away, because I hear something about to blow up. Well, that was interesting. Well, we got the yayo, we got some go juice, we got some other stuff, <laughs> some gold. And Max will have a meal. He's in a pretty good mood, because he just killed so many people. He killed three people and he feels great, but he's unhappy because he ate without a table. He's meditating. Cowgirl is gonna... <laughs> so I turned on hardworking animals, so cowgirl actually hauls when I've trained her to haul. So she just rescued a bunch of gold from that fire. Oh, we missed this guy. He's got riot armor, but that's still not as good as mine. And since I installed the Metal Doesn't Burn mod, we've also got just like pretty much more limited fire spread. But there's a lot more to do. I think I'm gonna leave this place. And let's see which factions are nearby. We've got Major Alv Alkva Alkvale. It just says they're another faction. And what about these guys? Green Minbar. They're hostile. Well, that's on the way to not in Nor Stronghold, but this entire area is impassable, so I don't know if I want to go there. Hmm, this is interesting. We've got some androids up the road hostile androids. Maybe they'd have better technology. So, you know what? Let's head up here. We'll just betray these people. I think we're pretty much going to be enemies with everybody this series. So let's form a caravan, and Max is going to ride the horse and go there. All right, so now Max is going to prepare the caravan, and he's going to ride Cowgirl off to the destination. There we go. Go off into the sunset. We could definitely do like a Fallout New Vegas thing here. Okay, there they go, and they'll probably sleep. We'll also need a bedroll as we go on our way. We want to keep them as happy as possible throughout this time. Now, while they're in the caravan, they're moving 50 54.3 tiles per day. That sounds ridiculously fast. So we're not really limited by our resources, but just by how fast we can move. And we want to keep this horse alive too. Either that or just not get really bad ailments. And we're actually going to... 
Well, you know what? First off, let's just trade with them, and then probably after that we'll attack them. So they don't actually have any Luciferium, so this isn't really worth it. Though we could sell them our gold, and we can use this to buy Burden. I like Burden, but it's not my favorite spell, so I think I'm going to leave that one there. And we're just going to cancel this one. We probably won't even invade these people because they don't have any Luciferium. So let's go over here to their other settlement. Uh, though it's also kind of out of the way. Let's see if this is worth it. Well, we're pretty fast on horseback. Yeah, I'll give this a shot. And we've settled down for the night, and we'll just head into Erie Shire. Let's trade with them first to see if they have anything. So they have this hazard operations armor in good quality and also this titanium heavy plate armor. Both of these look absurdly good, but I don't have any money. This is $15,000. They also have a neuro trainer in crafting and they don't have luciferium. I'm going to try attacking these people because I want to see if they have the stuff I want because I I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll win. And screw it, let's just attack. And let's just see what these guys have. Oh, they're pretty well defended. They've got one mortar over here. What's their shooting? Okay, this guy's really good. This guy's pretty good. This guy's really good in melee, but we would run away from them. We've got a guy named Kendrick, an android. An android chef. They're okay. They've got some really good shooting skill, though. I don't know. I think we might need to fight some tribals before we fight these guys. Like, look, these guys have turrets and everything else. They've also just got tons of cover. All right, come on, cowgirl. We're out of here. And we're running. Who is weak that we can fight? Hmm, it looks like we've got some tribal settlements over here. Orange tree. Let's go up there. It says it'll take us 2.3 days to get there, and we've got 15.2 days of food. That's fine. Our one advantage here is that we're going to outrange all those tribal settlements, and all the while just building up our shooting skill. They're actually really fast on these roads. Like, the giddy-up mounts has made this way more doable. I don't think we would have been able to manage this without this mod. And almost every other faction on the map hates us. Everybody is hostile. And now we're kind of far from other things, but we've got a few decent factions over here we could raid. So I don't think food will be a problem for a while. Everyone here just looks pretty weak. Okay, we're fighting the Barca Covenant. Let's go in and attack Orange Tree before nightfall. And what do these guys have? It looks pretty primitive over here. We're going to want to keep our distance because all their weapons don't really have very good range. It looks like this is a great bow we've got on one of these. Uh, we've got an enemy slither. I installed a few new race mods. So there's different kind of like snake and lizard people in the game. This person is also a really good shot. So we'll want to stay far away. I think that's pretty much it though. That's dangerous there. Let's get on cowgirl and good. We'll ride her over. Now pretty much just want to do like a drive by. We've got really good range on our character. And I'm not even sure they're aware of me. If we could just hit that one, that guy picked. And then who else? Who is really a threat in this village? Just ride over the horse and zoom out kind of. Okay, here we go. We'll just stay at our max range and then kind of kite them. Here we go. We got one. Looks like these guys are coming in with melee weapons. We won't want to let them get into cover, especially with those great bows. Take out that one. Loud Traxos. Peek them. Now, this is actually fair because they can run and gun too. It's just that my gun is way better range than theirs, so... If we were going against anyone even slightly more advanced in civilization than these people, we'd be dead. I'm just preying on the weak. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. I let one of them get a hit off on me. Uh, oh, we destroyed their base. We do still want to run away from them, though, because they'll keep on using run and gun on me even as they go. And it looks like we just got one guy running. What do you have, Vulture? You have, you have a great bow. You can run. And nothing else. Now, let's go see what these people had. Well, we can grab all their pemmican because that'll last a long time. If only we could carry it. And we'll just do some self-tending here. It looks like he got maybe just bruised and cut a little bit by one of those recurve bows. Not really great. Just hope that doesn't get infected. Terrible quality, too. And we'll just claim the entire area so that we can sleep in their beds. Let's go check out this place, though, before we go to bed. We've got a dining room. And what else do they have? Another d two dining rooms. And okay, here we go. Bed rolls. I actually did need these. And a fourth dining room. Fifth dining room, another bed, more dining rooms, a rice, really just rice, and medicine. Okay, so they pretty much have nothing, and most of the beds are pretty bad quality. I think we'll take this one. This is the best quality one made of guinea pig fur. Weird. So Max actually goes to sleep happy because he killed five people, but he's also recreation starved, so we might just want to build him like a pin or something to play at. I don't know, maybe he could use something better on the road. And he had a good sleep here tonight. He can bring this bedroll with him. He's also now at shooting 10, so he's gone up a level or two. We'll just gather up all these new food and resource bits, put them down in this room. I think we might stay here for a day or so. 
It actually seems like they're pretty well stocked up. Drink a beer, relax, and I forgot to turn off, let's just turn off pretty much all the drugs except for the ones I force on him because we don't want him to uh, go getting addicted to any more substances. <laughs> Alright, he's in pretty good mood now and there's not much else in here, just some fungus. We'll just let him heal up and then move out from there. Now right now he might be looking okay and this is actually increasing his healing rate, but he's gonna start to suffer from a luciferium need if we leave him. So we'll just give him a few more days before we actually start to, you know, work on the luciferium. And I also kind of want to get cowgirl a sad so I'm adding two mods, animal gear and animal armor. Just on the off chance we might be able to make something for our horse. You know, I don't really like the name cowgirl for our horse. It's not a cowgirl. I'm naming it horse. There we go. Much more, uh, much more true. And wow, the horse is actually getting a lot of, like, hauling done. I am liking the horse. Well, if you stayed here long enough, we have more space in our caravan somehow. Maybe because our horse is just so fucking powerful. Let's just load up our caravan and bring over like everything. Oh, we're carrying more already. We even have a new guinea pig fur bedroll. And I think we'll head over to their next settlement. Isabruk Crag. All right. Now they have even more food. They have 33 days worth. We're growing. I was worried about Max's like abilities, but he's actually at 110... He's actually even faster now because of all the luciferium. And we're gonna attack the other settlement. And let's get ready to attack. Oh hell, my horse has a saddle now. Okay, this place looks way better defended, but still, they're wielding really weak ancient weapons. So if we could just draw them out of their fort, we could just get on horse, Max. I'll draft him and then we'll kind of try to draw them out here. Let's just focus our camera on Max and horse. I really like this. This is the follow me mod for the camera, so you can actually just follow one of your colonists. Okay, and it looks like we'll get Max range maybe from like over here. We just don't want to fight somebody with a great bow first. Okay, uh, actually we've got pretty good natural cover down there. I think we could draw them out like that if we stay behind this wall. Yeah, it looks like one guy got out from cover there. We could just grab him, Boalo. And we should probably be able to take him down pretty fast. And good. Okay, so we got one down really quick. Cockroach too. And we got a level 11 in shooting. There we go. We're getting tons of experience already. And we could even move up under cover still. Let's just see if we can get them before they get to the sandbags. And they're attacking my colonists now. But, okay, shoot them, shoot them, and run. Uh, get behind better cover. Here we go. We just run him in. He's got hard cover. They don't. And fuck, they cut off his left ear. Jeez. I guess he got hit with a great bow. Ah, oh, it was a crossbow bolt. How does this, how is this ear not covered by the helmet? Well, he just got his ear shot off, so fuck. Um, I would not be in, want to be in this position. Okay, let's just keep moving. Ah, fuck. He got stabbed by a recurve bow. Cut by a great bow. We just gotta stay moving. We don't want to let too many of them hit us. Yeah, we're gonna have to recover too from all this. Uh, let's not give them any cover. We'll just keep running this way. Good. Okay, fuck. He's got a... He just lost his ear. He's gonna have to recover all that with the luciferium. I hope that it can cure that. If it can't... If it can't, I'm making it even more powerful. Man, he lost his left ear. Well, fortunately it wasn't his eye. I think eye is more important for shooting. Well, we did better than this guy. We shot off both of his legs. Let's just finish him off. I don't know, Max, what do you want to do? <laughs> He's just wandering. Well, let's go in and explore their area. We didn't get our ear cut off for nothing. Claim all of it. What's nice is that this base actually looks a little bit better. Okay, nothing in here. They got a passive cooler, though. And they've also got crops growing. Pineapples. How do we do in here? Lots of good bedrolls. We got good quality. Normal. Poor. Awful. Normal. Poor. Normal, 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 good. And more pemmican on the table. I still think it was worth it for the extra shooting skill. I just wish he had an ear. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's claim this good bedroll. All right, Max, you have a bed. Go rest. Try to rest despite all the horrible pain you're probably in. And we're actually just going to settle this area. I want him to rest here for a while. He just lost an ear, so he's probably going to be out of commission for a bit. Uh, it's within four tiles of another faction base, though. So they'll be kind of pissed that we're encroaching on their land. But we've also got a plus 41 relationship with them. So I think it's safe to do this. Yeah, we're going to make a settlement here. Let Max rest for a few days. Fortunately, horse is such a unit and can do all the hauling. Look at that. It's a goddamn workhorse. Good job, horse. Just pick up all my drugs and luciferium and bring them to me. I'm in so much pain. So it turns out that by default, if you just lose a body part, luciferium doesn't cure it, I'm pretty sure. Or at least that's what I'm reading online. So by default, he wouldn't get his left ear back. But that's not really as much fun, so I'm adding this mod called Better Luciferium, which lets me customize it. So I think I did this right. But, I mean, my stance on it is, look, if you're addicted to a drug that could take your life, it should at least be able to give you life, too. Or at the very least, regrow your ears, which is actually kind of badass. And where did I put it? <laughs> where the fuck did I put it? Oh, there it is. Horse, come on, man. Do something for me. Oh, we just got a giant scorpion. Okay. Oh, shit. This is cruel. 
It's gotta be cruelty. Uh, I do kind of fear that thing. I think I'm gonna just... I mean, I may have had my ear just shot off, but I am a freaking living tank. Yeah, let's just destroy that thing. Get that thing out of this world. That is a weird animal. Yeah, I hadn't even thought of this, but I guess we could just shoot wildlife to gain shooting skill. I mean, there's not as much fun in that, but at the very least, it'll get them into better positioning in these fights. Hmm, let's just shoot all the dangerous and non-dangerous animals. These things are 100% aggressive. I don't really trust that, but I think everything else is pretty much safe to hunt, except for this shit. <laughs> Yeah, these things are aggressive. Good, so we can just hunt these ostriches and more animals. Good. Now, he won't get tons of shooting skill for this, but we need him to be at, like, I don't know, level 15 before he goes and fights people again. I don't want him getting all of his organs shot off. Plus, he doesn't get any joy out of killing animals. A ah, horse is also doing some hunting. I kind of like this, the hunt for me mod. Uh, okay, horse is gonna fight. All right, you know what, horse, get in there. Uh, I hope you beat that iguana. Either way, it's just gonna be training for, uh, for Max if it doesn't work out. Okay, good. Get in there with the iguana. Save horse. Yeah, horse got fucked up by that iguana. Let's give horse a sleeping spot. Oh, shit. Man, those things try to hunt horse? Fuck, no, we gotta, oh, shit. Okay, we got them angry. They are angry at us. Fuck, I hope we can save horse. Good, save horse. There we go, good. Save my horse. And level 12 shooting. All right, go tend to horse. Good job, Max. All right, my horse is saved. And it all kind of adds to this medical skill. All right, well, Max is already healed because of the Luciferium. He's just losing the ear. This desert actually has a decent amount of minerals, though. I bet we could mine something out of the ground. And we may be terrible at mining, but we can at least try to make horse some armor before we go. Leveled up already once. I love these hardworking animals. That's actually really nice. Kind of gives you a reason to use animals. Okay, we got a rare thrombos wander in. We'll just deconstruct this whole wall, and we'll use that to build this table. Okay, we can build the tailoring bench, and he got another level in construction. I think the best that we can do right here is just make animal clothes for our horse, but it looks like this is available to, like, everything but horses. Shit. Oh, well, I've had enough with this place. Let's just have him... Max is fully cured. I think I'm just gonna have him draft and fight animals. Here we go. Just take down everything over here. He's gonna get a lot of animal revenge now. Man, you really suck at shooting. And you know what? Just fuck it. Shoot everything. Yeah, just go over there. Just wherever there's a dot. It's dead. It's actually a great way to train him. Okay, there we go. Whatever that is, shoot it. Tortoise. I don't even know what that... What is that? There we go. Shoot that thing. That looks dangerous. Get that scorpion. There we go. Another one. And he's almost at shooting level 13. There we go. Just get a few more. He's got 13. And what, what even is that? Rough-plated monitor. That looked like it was good. Oh, this scorpion and that thing. Okay, well done, well done. You know, we could take apart all this stuff to just get tons of guinea pig fur. There we go. And we got a trader, somebody on a giraffe. What the hell? Do you have a horse saddle or something? Go trade with these guys. And I have bad health, oh well. No luciferium, unfortunately. They do have pemmican. A lion decided to join me just randomly, so I'm gonna sell it. I think that's about it. I'll grab some pemmican from them because I need food. And a little bit of psychite wouldn't hurt either. Actually, that's too much. Let's redo this. That's a little bit better. And even if we don't really get much better at this, Let's just see how we do with this. Well, at least we have some animal clothes for later. And since we can carry so much stuff, let's just go on to the next settlement. We'll go right over here. And Max is just gonna load up horse. Jesus, that's fast. And there they go, setting off on a new adventure. Okay, we're gonna make some enemies today. And just get on horse. And let's take them into battle. Come on, Max. Come on, horse. Ah, uh, fuck. They're really well armed. <laughs> Look at these people. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's uh, see if we can shyster this combat the right way. So it looks like there's this big expanse right here. We could probably kite them out. We just like pick off one of them if they're stupid and they're running through. Uh, no, don't go that way. Go around. Here we go. And we could probably just wait for one of them to do something stupid. Okay, that guy, both these people have short range weapons. We just like lure them in. Now, what about that guy? If we could take out that guy first, he's long range. Okay, there we go. Good, we took him out tagged him. Let's go over here. Just run back. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want to stay in cover for this whole fight. Okay, just take him out one. If you can take him out one by one, it's gonna be worth it. And fuck, we are in really a lot of trouble. Like, so much dependent on those first couple hits. Uh, is this safe? How fast do we run compared to them? Okay, we can outspeed them, so that's kind of safe, actually. We just keep on doing this. Good, get a couple of them, the short range ones. And good, let's just get like one or two at a time. We got some cover here, we could use that. Fuck, they got a shot. Fuck, 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 they tagged me. Fuck, okay, run. Max got hit. What did he, how did they? Uh, his right eye got crushed by a revolver. What the fuck? Ah, oh, shit, that's gonna hurt him. Okay, we gotta run. It's only at 56% efficiency and he needs his eyes if he wants to shoot. Right, run away, run away, Max. Go back home, go back home, be safe. And go tend to your eye. Why is everything on fire? Well, his right eye got crushed by a revolver somehow, and he got his left ear cut off, so he's not really off to a good start, Max, but uh, I got high hopes for the Luciferium. <laughs> 
We gotta figure out some way to augment his range and vision. And I'm pretty sure if he keeps up with all his skills, he's gonna get a lot stronger here. Anyway, we didn't find any Luciferium, so that's kind of urgent. But at the same time, we still got a few more days before we need Luciferium, so we could always find more. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. If you wanted to go check out this mod pack, um, I'm gonna leave a link down below. I still haven't gotten the full collection ready because I've just been experimenting with mods over the last few days. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.